Hi, Charlie here. We all make mistakes from time to time at work. Normally, these mistakes are pretty small and don't have a massive impact on anyone else. But when you're manning a gigantic, million dollar ship, then the stakes are very high. Well, here are some times that ship operators really messed up. From stubborn oil tankers colliding into each other, to gigantic ferries taking out entire bridges. This video was recorded in Russia. It was taken by two seamen standing on a pier. Their boat is the one on the left. They notice another boat named May about to crash into their ship. The May ship is tilting because of incorrect anchor use. The men call out for the ship to slow down, but there's nothing they can do from the shore. The men immediately go quiet as the nose of the May ship crumbles like a soda can. The metal collides, but thankfully the ship did not sink. But if the hole made in the larger ship was lower, this could be enough to bring down the entire ship and sink it. In 2020, a 1,200 foot Japanese ship was attempting to dock. But that's when the ship named Milano Bridge smashed into the quayside at Busan, Newport. This is one of the largest ports in Korea. This took out one of the massive construction cranes on the dock. It fell right on top of the ship. The Milano Bridge then tried to maneuver around the dock. But in doing this, ended up hitting another ship. This video comes from a surveillance camera at a port, and in this video it wasn't a boat operator at fault, instead a crane operator manoeuvring a boat. The crane operator was trying to put the new boat into the water, but that's when the yacht slides right out of the harnesses. This yacht reportedly cost 5 million rubles, that's nearly 70,000 US dollars. Thankfully for the owner, the boat was insured, but this is still one serious screw up. If you buy an expensive yacht, don't cheap out on the crane operator. Before we move on, make sure you guys subscribe and press the notification bell too. It really does help me out. It's very desirable to live by water. That's why some of the most expensive homes in the world are on the coast. But this video might make you change your mind about coastal property. In 2018, a large cargo ship crashed into a historic mansion in Turkey. This was on the Bosphorus Strait. The ship was carrying barley from Russia to Saudi Arabia. Thankfully everyone was okay, but the house was not. The building's roof and upper floors collapsed, and the basement also slumped into the water. The house was the historic Hakambasi Sala Effendi mansion. This is a very expensive and well-known property in the area. This happened because of a malfunction in the ship's rudder. What happens when you get two very stubborn oil tanker captains fighting over the waters? I'll give you a hint, it does not end well for either ship. This happened in the waters of Tangzhong Kling in Singapore. The front of one of the oil tankers completely crashes into the other. At first it only takes out the top fence, but then the nose of one of the ships goes right into the other. This created a substantial hole in the ship. Everyone was okay. But it's believed this ship collision cost tens of millions of dollars. J-Class yachts are very expensive racing yachts. They are considered the best racing boats in the world. But without good drivers, this means nothing, as you'll see in this video. During the Super Yacht Challenge race in Antigua, two yachts collided. One of the yachts rammed right into the other. The colliding boat then uses the other boat's stern as a ramp and goes upwards. This knocks one man overboard, but thankfully everyone was okay. Both of these boats were damaged, and they both had to leave the race. It just goes to show you can have the best racing boats in the world, but without a team to match, you won't be going anywhere but in the water. In 2019, a container vessel crashed into a pier. This happened at the Semarang port in Indonesia. This caused one of the gigantic yellow cranes to collapse. Thankfully, everyone was okay, but this did cost the Indonesian pier millions of dollars. This video is surveillance footage from Port Lincoln, South Australia. In 2012, a bulk carrier named Grand Radosi collided with a tuna boat named Apollo S. The Grand Radosi crushed Apollo S like a soda can. The small tuna boat was worth $17 million, but despite its large size, it only took 20 minutes to sink. That's because the Grand Radosi container ship was far larger, 
Thankfully, no crew were on the ship at the time, but that sure is one expensive mistake to make. In 2021, the engine of a large cargo ship failed in Vietnam. This caused it to plow right into a construction crane that was being used to build a bridge. Some of the crane landed on the ship, and then the rest of it fell right into the water. In 2012, a Chinese ship collided with a bridge. The bridge was okay, but the ship's chimneys were wiped out. This was a newly built luxury cruise ship with no passengers. The captain didn't realize that with no passengers, the ship would float higher. So he did not account for the bridge and thought the ship would make it. When you have a newly built million dollar cruise ship, it may be best to get a good captain. Otherwise, that ship won't stay new and shiny for very long. This is footage from a Russian bulk carrier. Filmed in 2021, it was in the Black Sea off the coast of Turkey. The ship is bouncing on the waves, and that's when part of it breaks off. In 2020, a vessel collided with a breakwater in Marseille, France. The cause of the incident is unknown, but many said it was likely down to poor lookout. If you're driving a multi-million dollar ship, it's best to look where you're going. This video was filmed by Captain Hassan Said Ahmed. A barge rammed into his ship's starboard at full speed. This could have easily sank his ship, but thankfully it did not. One day, some people were walking by a river in their city. That's when they saw a massive cruise ship go by. It looked like it was about to slam right into the bridge. But thankfully, seconds later, the ship passes by unscathed. Unlike the previous Chinese cruise ship, this one had people in it. The weight of the people made the ship go down enough so that it wouldn't damage itself on the bridge. It's a good thing this captain was well trained. Otherwise, this cruise ship may have turned into a convertible. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the most amazing ship collision on this list. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.